I'm Aaron Gold, want to welcome you to the 2015 Los Angeles Auto Show. Now, LA is home to the California custom car culture. You gotta say that all with K's, by the way. So the automakers love to show off their special edition cars here at the LA Show. Let's take a look at some of what they introduced. This is a truly sad moment for me because this is one of my favorite cars and it's going away. This is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution Final Edition. This is it, the end of the road for this all-wheel drive turbocharged terror. Now what they have done with this car uh, for the final edition, they've taken the MR, which has the uh, uh, IBAC uh, springs, the Bilstein shocks, and the Brembo brakes, and they've added the manual transmission from the GSR. Um, oh gosh, I'm gonna miss this thing. Now they're building just 1,600 of these final edition cars. They're gonna be individually numbered, and Mitsubishi is going to auction off the first one to a charity that's very near and dear to my heart, uh, the Multiple Sclerosis Society. So we really appreciate Mitsubishi doing this. This is one of my favorite cars of all time. Nothing like driving a Lancer Evolution. I'm really going to miss it. From the great heartbreak department comes the car everybody wants and nobody can have. This is the Subaru STI Performance Concept. And it's a BRZ that's been souped up with all sorts of wonderful things. A turbocharged engine and all sorts of suspension and underpinning bits from uh, Subaru's STI division. Everybody's been clamoring for a Super BRZ. Here it is and it's not going to go on sale. Do you want it? Do you really want it? You can have it, but Subaru's brought it out here so at least we can drool over it and dream and presumably say, gosh, this really makes me want to buy an Impreza. This is the Porsche Cayman GT4 Club Sport. This is a race-ready package. You can basically buy this thing, put on a helmet, go racing tomorrow. And interestingly enough, it is the first full-on racing Porsche that is not a 911 since the 1968 of the 1990s sometime. If that doesn't mean anything to you, then you don't own a Porsche because they love stuff like this. Now this car costs about $165,000, but that's actually a real bargain for a ready-to-go race car. It lowers the price of entry for racing in a factory prepared Porsche by about 100 grand. 3.8 liter flat six engine, 385 horsepower, and only 2,866 pounds worth of Porsche to push around. So if your dream has always been to race a Porsche, all you need is a great big wallet and one of these and you're good to go. So when you have a special interest car like the Volkswagen Beetle, how do you keep interest alive? The answer is you do special editions, like these two that Volkswagen is showing here. Okay, the first is the Beetle Dune. This is kind of a Baja bug inspired Beetle. They've raised the ride height slightly. They've actually increased the track slightly, put all this kind of tacked on trim, a bit like you'd find on an SUV, and you can get it in a couple of colors, including this nice yellowy paint. Now behind that is the Volkswagen Denim Edition. For this one, they had to wait until everybody who could remember the original AMC Gremlin Levi's had died off. By the way, Volkswagen, you missed one. Anyway, they have basically done a denim interior, and on the convertible, you can get a denim roof, and you'll be able to get both of these special edition Volkswagen Beetles, should you want them in either coupe or convertible form. This is the Jeep Wrangler Red Rock Edition, and it's built with extensive parts out of the Mopar catalog. It has the Rock Track uh, center differential, Dana 44 uh, axles, beadlock wheels, winch ready bumper, um, lots of body kits. There will now be a brief pause while all the die hard off road people post a comment below telling me all the details that I got wrong. The key element is Chrysler is going to build just 50 of these things, but if you miss it, not to worry because you can make your own. All the parts that make this thing into the Red Rock are available in the Mopar catalog. I'm Aaron Gold, want to thank you for watching. We got lots of other good Los Angeles Auto Show content. Leave us a comment below, tell us what you think of the show and the cars that are here, and check out what we're doing on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.